First question, each of your characters are so colorful and original. Can you talk about how the characters evolved and if they were based on real people? You want to take that uh, one first? Or? No. Well, yeah, mine was based on um, a character named, uh, a, a, a person, a, a general named, a milita- uh, army general named uh, Smedley Butler, or was it the Marines? I'm, I, I should have known that, but uh, he was uh, in the, after the First World War and between the First and Second World War, he was um, quite outspoken about what he felt uh, about war and about, <clears throat> wrote a book called War is a Racket, which was unusual for someone of his stature. Um, but he was well loved by the, the common man, if you will, the, 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 the soldier that was not any kind of, um, any kind of rank, just the, the uh, most common uh, rank, uh, corporal, uh, uh, they all respected him and, and loved him, and he, and he stood up for them. Um, and I guess the pe- the higher ranking uh, uh, military, the elite, if you will, were kind of irked by him at times, it seems, because he said these things that were inappropriate for a person of his stature. But he was a hero, and and uh, they couldn't they couldn't they couldn't take that away from him. He was a, a, a genuine war hero, so you, you know um, that was that. So this was all intriguing to me, especially uh, what's going on in our country. And um, so David presented all this to me, told me what to look, to look him up and read about him and so on, look at video and speeches he made. So that was uh, what it was. He's a hell of a character, Smelly Butler, isn't he? I yeah. mean, I hope he will do. I, I, I didn't know anything about him either, but oh my lord, what a man! I mean, that you can make a film just about him. Yeah, you? you should. Yeah, yeah. You should true. go make a film just about Smelly Butler. That would be magnificent. Uh, yeah. And Christian, I don't know if you want to take this for your character um, as well. Uh, you know, I mean, mine, um, mine is is based on real people, but nobody that anyone else would have ever heard of. You know, at all. There was a, a art dealer character that David and I had been talking about going back to like 2013, and then David uh, uh, said, "Come, come to this Greasy Spoon Diner," and he was telling me about Smedley Butler and uh, this event in American history that neither of us had ever heard of. And our jaws were on the floor, and we said, "Let's keep looking at this." And we looked at the Jazz Age and the 30s and documentaries and. And just started to form an idea of a character that we wanted to hang out with, a character that we would love, and a character we wanted to be friends with. And we so we were looking at returning war veterans and certain photographs you'd see, you know, of that. There was a, a, a doctor named Shields who uh, 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 my, my character Bert gets mistaken for uh, uh, quite often. Story of his life, as he says, little mannerisms that come from my son. Um, another bloke that I saw walking down the street and like a stalker followed him for ages, copying in his mannerisms and made it into that. You know, you get influences from all over the place, but no one's ever heard of Bert Berenson outside of uh, our film Amsterdam. Great. Uh, Now, you've both worked with David in the past. What is it about his filmmaking style that appeals to you? We keep coming back. Yeah. We We keep coming back to it. He's original. He's unique. You know, he's a truly great filmmaker in that respect. You know, he he has... uh, um, a way of working, unlike anyone else I've ever uh, uh, worked with, um, and, uh, and, uh, and 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 the films they're, they're really uniquely his. You know, like any great filmmaker, you really know this is a David O. Russell film. Certainly, that's it. All right. Uh, now this is quite an impressive cast. After having read the script, how well uh, cast would you say the actors were for their roles? Perfect. You know, everybody was terrific. Perfect. I, I mean, there were um, Alessandro Nivola was in it. Uh, he had a, a, a kind of a, a supporter. He was. I didn't even recognize him at one point. <laughs> it was very funny. He had all the actors. I can't even remember the names. They're all terrific. Everybody was uh, special. Yeah, we were very blessed with the incredible cast that we ended up getting together, you know. Uh, and David's got a, such a skill for using people in a way that, you know, 
they often haven't been seen before. You know, um, uh, 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 real, real. Oh my God, what a pleasure, what a surprise to to have all those people come and join us. You know, uh, but most especially obviously with Bob. But you know, coming from just David and me sitting in a diner together, and suddenly, wow. You know, what a cast and what a crew as well. And Chibo, you know, the DP, just phenomenal. These are like the best of the best. That's a perfect segue for the next question. Uh, can you talk about the amazing contrib uh, contributions of the team behind the camera, like the DP you were just saying, production designer, Jimmy Becker, Jay Cassidy, or anyone that stuck out Absolutely. to you? Absolutely. Look, I mean, David was so generous. He invited me into the edit room, so I got to be there with Jay, who's just an absolute master. Um, uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, I've worked with Chibo a couple of times, and he's a real joy. He's like, a, he's a real artist, and I would just see his just enthusiasm behind the camera, going cabron, you know, when there was like a great scene and tears in his eyes, and he feels it like he's right in there, and you know, he'll be right next to us up close, as is often David's style um, with that. So his presence was 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 really uh, wonderful. We got Daniel Pemberton doing the music. Um, and uh, uh, so many uh, incredible, unique individuals um, that just uh, make this a, a crazily unique film. And there were even Great lines, man. like there was a line from Mango, the uh, uh, dolly grip that ended up in the film, something he said to David one day, and David loved it, and he was like, Christian, Mango just said this. Great, we threw it in the film, you know? Makeup people, Great. phenomenal. Chris Gallagher, oh, my Lord, the best. Nancy, Bob's dog. Oh yeah. my lord, Nancy! I, I who just made the film, where is she? stole I the put film. Her on you this. know, where where is she? Where, Nancy, <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, where are you? Is Nancy? <laughs> Our little Nancy, Dylan Beck's dog from the film. Come here. Thank oh, you. Yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If Say anybody and if anybody <laughs> ever gets the chance to work with Nancy, they have to jump at it. It's 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 you know a wonderful experience. She totally believes in her cat. I do think I always feel like animals and children are the best actors. You know? They're they're, yeah. they're always great. You never know what they're gonna give you. So it's it's great. The best boy, right? Nancy. All right. <laughs> we have one more question. Um, there are many important themes in the film. Which one do you feel is the most powerful? and will stick with audiences once the film is over. I believe optimism. Optimism, staying optimism no matter what, staying optimistic no matter what, staying joyful in the midst of miserable bastards, not letting life crush you, not letting life cause you to feel hatred, not letting it um, uh, make you cynical, you know? So uh, uh, use what happens to you in life to fix yourself and to build yourself stronger rather than be destroyed by it. That's what I love so much about these characters and it's what I love so much about David's films.